collide Europa, Ganymede, and Titan with Mars to see if Mars ends up becoming habitable. This is going to be an interesting one. I mean, Titan alone, that's carrying a lot of greenhouse materials. Should be a quite an interesting. Let's go ahead and plop Titan in first, as a matter of fact, there. There it goes straight into Mars. You can see Mars for a briefly second there had a bit of clouds added to it. You Ganymede next. Slot that in. That's containing a lot of water as well. And then lastly, Europa again. A lot of water on that moon. It's all crashing into Mars there. There you go. So Mars has picked up a lot of new material now. So let's go ahead and speed up time. Let's see what happens when it cools down and how hot will it get? Okay, so time is passing. Mars is cooling down. Currently over 200, but it is cooling fast. We've got a whole new atmosphere on top of Mars as well. But how low will it go is the question. It's got a lot of extra water and methane added to it. We'll have to see. Okay, so the simulations ran for over 400 years now. Mars has finally cooled down to 186 Celsius, but it won't go any lower. Even if I run it around the sun multiple times, it's constantly losing material as well. But Mars's temperature just varies between yeah 200 and about 180 with a full year around the sun. So it's got too much greenhouse effect to truly cool down and become a habitable planet.